Hey, what's up, Jimmy Official gang? Jimmy Official Nation. It's your boy, Jimmy Official. You know, I'm back here again with another video. I don't really care if you cry. I don't really should've never lied. Should've saw Today, I'm going to be talking about the day I almost ruined Thanksgiving, bro. Like, I almost ruined it. You guys know Thanksgiving supposed to be a great day for your family and friends and loved ones. Supposed to have fun. And I almost blew that day because I almost burnt all the food. But before I get started into this story time, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And just a reminder for you guys, I'm posting my first prank at 3K subscribers. So once I hit 3K, first prank going up. And this is going to be fire. But let's get started on this video. Hope you guys enjoy this story. Let's go. Talk about the day I ruined Thanksgiving, bro. It was crazy because, you know, Thanksgiving is supposed to be a good time. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a good moment with your family, eating hella food, you know what I'm saying? Having a great time. All your uncles come over and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. And we just having a great time. But before the day got started that day, you know, your parents start cooking early, like probably a day or two early before Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? My mom started cooking the day before thanksgiving make sure everything was ready fresh prepped everything you know what i'm saying so basically it was crazy because the house could have burned down you know what i'm saying and it would have been a scary moment for me because i don't know what i would have did you know what i'm saying i don't know what the hell i would have did to stop that shit. but thank god it didn't happen because if that would have happened, God forbid, I would have been in some deep ass trouble. You know what I'm saying? But all right, so it all started like this. Basically, you know, the day before Thanksgiving, my mom had work, right? And I didn't have school that day. So basically, you know, I was home. My mom already, she woke up like early in the morning, like two, three in the morning. She started cooking early. You know what I'm saying? I'm asleep. So she did tell me to make sure when I wake up, check the oven check the stove, you know, if stuff needs water, if stuff needs to get turned up, turned down, do it, you know what I'm saying? She expected me to know how to control the oven, which I really didn't know how to control at the time, because this, this was, like, new to me, you know, I'm not, I wasn't used to cooking stuff and, and making stuff and, like, turning the oven on and turning, letting the fire on and, and boiling and doing some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't chefing nothing like that. I wasn't that, wasn't nasty at it, you know what I'm saying? So basically, it was, Thanksgiving was on a Thursday, you know what I'm saying? So Thursday morning, like early in the morning, like 2 a.m., right? 2 a.m., 3 a.m., I woke up. My mom had, she went, already left to work. She was going to work, I think, at like 3.30 or 4, so she already had left to work, right? So I woke up, you know. Went around the kitchen, make sure everything was right, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, hopefully I can go to sleep, right? I can go to sleep till like 6, 7, and get up. Then I can just, I'll be up for the rest of the day, looking at the stove and the food and chicken and the turkey and the ham, macaroni, all that, right? Looking at all the good black people food, you know what I'm saying? Baked macaroni, fried chicken. <laughs> all right, so basically, oh, I was... Woke up that day, that Thursday morning, and, you know, I was chilling. There was nothing to do. I was playing my 2K. I was chilling, playing the game, relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Waiting for my mom to get home so she could finish the rest of the food and we could have a buffet, you might as well say, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, all day my mom texts me and call me and make sure I'm checking on the food. Because, you know, once I get into my game, bro, I'm, I'm into my game. Ain't nobody distracting me. So, I have my phone on mute. You know what I'm saying? So people call me. I didn't know. It didn't ring until I looked at my phone to see I had a missed call, bro. Basically, my mom was blowing up my phone. And I was on 2K with my headsets on and just playing. So looked at my phone. It was like five missed calls. I was like, ah. So first, my first thing was run upstairs, make sure everything's straight. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I didn't even do that. <laughs> I called my mom back, right? And she asked me, is everything good? Is the food good? Everything cooking right? And I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even go upstairs yet to check. I just said, yeah, everything's fine, right? She, she said, all right, we hung up. So I ran, as soon as I hung up with her, I paused my game. I ran upstairs, and I checked the oven, bro. It was like on 450, you know what I'm saying? You know how you could press the buttons, turn the knobs, 450, like 500, 300? It was on 450, bro. So basically, the chicken was burning. Know what I'm saying? And I didn't know how to turn the stove off. I didn't know how to, like, like the chicken was, like, on top it wasn't in the oven yet it was on top you know so you know what the fire is burning under pots and stuff like that and the fire is just burning right i didn't know what to do i was home alone i didn't know what to do 
You know what I'm saying? Actually, my little brother's upstairs, but, you know, I couldn't ask him. I didn't even know what I was doing, so I didn't know what to do. The chicken burning, the fire, the fire lighting the pot of the chicken getting brown, and it's like, I, I was shook because I didn't know what to do, bro. And they had the baked macaroni in the oven, the, the oven on the highest mode you can put it on. It was like at least on 500, broiling, bro. And I was shook because I already told my mom that everything's fine, you know what I'm saying? So if I call her back and tell her that stuff is burning, she's going to go, Panic, go crazy, and I'm gonna be a liar. So I was, I gotta figure this out, bro. Tell me why. I went on YouTube and stuff. I was like, how do you turn the oven down? How do you stop it from broiling? How do you take the stuff off? Cause I didn't know how to take the, I didn't. I was too scared to take the pan off, cause it was fire and shit. I didn't want to turn the knob the wrong way, and I should go. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want nothing crazy to happen, bro. So, I'm sitting here struggling, thinking, what should I do? What should I do, bro? So, my dumb self opened up the oven and take the baked macaroni out under the in the oven. And I, I didn't have a glove on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I tried, to, I tried to get like a fork, you know, a metal fork, because metal don't burn. So, I tried to get a fork and pull it out, right? I tried to pull a thing out, the tray out with the fork, and I dropped the fork in the oven, bro. So, I'm like, oh, my God. So, I, I dropped the fork in the oven. Remind you, the oven's blasting right now. It's on the highest. I dropped the fork in the oven, and I, I'm lost. I'm like, what do I do, bro? I, I, was, I was about to cry. I was like, I swear to God, like, I'm about to ruin Thanksgiving. All this food ought to be burnt. We're not going to have no Thanksgiving. And the house about to catch on fire because I don't know how to turn the stove off. And, like, I was shook, bro. I was really, really shook. We had mad family coming over that day, so people would have been mad at me. People probably would have hated me that day. My mom probably would have been mad, bro. So I'm over here about to start trying stuff out. I start turning knobs. And the knob, it seems like zero. So I'm like, which way do I go? You know what I'm saying? If I go left and that thing go, poof, I'm going to be done. If I turn right and something those go, boom, I'm going to be like, oh, my God. So I didn't know which way to go. So you know what I thought? I was like, I'm going to just turn everything to the left. You know what I'm saying? So I start turning that knob to the left, turning it to the left, turn all the knobs to the left. The fire went off. Like, they're not the fire, the smoke that's cooking the, um, you guys know the fire underneath the, the pot, whatever you're making, that went off. Then I turned the knob, and I didn't realize that it was an off button on top of the oven, bro. It was an off button. I didn't never know that, you know what I'm saying? So this whole time, this stuff starting to burn, it was an off button at the top of the stove. So I look up, I'm looking at the buttons, I'm like, oh, it's an off button, right? So I clicked the off button, the whole stove turned off, and I had... Um, grabbed the guys know the the mitten. I grabbed the mitten. I put the macaroni out. I put it on top, and everything was good, and it wasn't burnt. You know, it was like well done. You know what I'm saying? You know, ever had like baked macaroni well done? Like it's little, it's not soft. It's like crispy. You know what I'm saying? It was crispy chicken, crispy mac and cheese, and I didn't have to call my mom back. So when she got home, everything was on the oven, fresh. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even talk about that because my brother was asleep and I was the only one like that noticed happened. I didn't even talk about it, bro. I just let the day go on. We had a great time, but like I was scared because like, what if I really really ruined Thanksgiving, bro? Like we would probably eat McDonald's for Thanksgiving, bro. Like oh my god, bro. Like yo, if you ever cooking something, reminder: do not fall asleep. Do not get distracted. Do not leave the house with the oven on. You know what I'm saying? Please. You don't want to come back to your house and your shit's burned down. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, that was the most scariest day of my life, bro. Like, I didn't know what to do, bruh. That, that just reminded for you guys, bro. If you're cooking something, make sure you stay around and you pay attention to that, bruh. I don't care if you're the best chef in the world, bruh. Mistakes happen. If you guys enjoyed that story though, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video. Hit that red subscribe button, bro, because I keep telling y'all to hit that red subscribe button. Hit that red subscribe button. Leave a like, bro. I appreciate you guys for coming to my channel and supporting me. Let's keep grinding. Pranks coming at 3k subscribers. So once I hit 3k subs, my first prank is dropping. Shimmy and Pushkin, we here. Ooh, I lose.